This is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I'm going to share with you uh, a video that I made for one of my uh, GED Super Math Pack students. And in that video, I'm breaking down some questions that this student had. Um, and in my experience as a GED teacher, you know, when one student has a question, then another student likely has that same question. But before we get to that, I just want to invite you to join in with me in the GED Super Math Pack. You can see it pictured right here. You get these two great books. The first one you get is the Practice Test Workbook. These are 50 GED math questions that if you can do these questions, you are ready to go and pass the test and take it and put this test behind you for once and for all. And then the Basic Math Workbook. These gives you This book gives you the basic skill that you need to have success on the GED math test. And then to wrap it all together, this DVD here does it. This is over 20 gigabytes of GED. GED video instruction practice test worksheets to line you up in 10 easy to follow lessons so that you can have success on the GED test. So again, I'm going to share with you a video that I shared with one of my GED Super Math Pack students. The final thing I'll say about that is that that's the benefit of getting the GED Super Math Pack because then you get access to my online course and then you get my videos that I post every week. And this is all on top of the these two books and this powerful DVD. On top of that, you also get the... Uh, access to the online course and that way you can interact with me you can ask me questions and so this video that I'm going to show you right now is a video that a student asked me some questions and I was getting back to them hope this is helpful to you but one more time I encourage you get into the online course get the GED super math pack because this is the way that I can help you to pass this test working with you seeing you have success in 2018 thank you so much enjoy Okay, Brandy, so here I am on the uh, lesson one page, okay, and we're going to go down into the practice test because that's where you said you were running into some problems. Um, so I'm just going to start it up here and just put, I'm just going to put this just to kind of skip through it. So you see me here. Um, so now let's look at this one. So it says select the correct answer. So again, you know, the skills that you just learned in positive and negative numbers in this lesson um, it, are, are, are here. Um, but let me just kind of show you how this example. So um, in January of 2011, the city of Fargo, North Dakota experienced very frigid temperatures by how many degrees did the temperature change between January 18 and January 23rd? So what you do is you come over here, you click on that, and you can see the image bigger, right? So you just click on it, it gets bigger, and we're looking at between January 18 and 23rd. So you look at the days of the month here. So there's January 18. Um, the temperature is, you know, we're going to say it's 5. And then the 23rd, the temperature is negative 10, okay? So remember those numbers, 5 and negative 10. Okay, now I'm going to close that up. And I'm going to come over here and get my pen. So we have 5 and negative 10. Those are the two temperatures. Now, remember, so you just learned how to do the skill. So if it's going down, so it's going to be 5 minus uh, um, a minus 10 okay because it went down so 5 minus going down and then it landed at negative 10 so that skill you just learned of changing that to minus to positive and changing the operation will give you it went down 15 degrees see so that's how that skill that you just learned in lesson one gets applied in the word problem, okay? And so that's what the GED test is about. It's not just, they're not just going to give you problems 5 minus and minus 10. They're going to hide that within a word problem, okay? So then you come back over here, click on that one, 
and then you got your answer correct. Okay, um, so now th that's just to kind of get you going, but that's the idea. You're learning these skills, and then you apply them in the word problems. Okay, now let me go to um, lesson two. So I'm going to go back in there, back in there, and now we're going to go to basic equations. Okay, and now we're going to come down here, um, and we're going to go to that post-test. And then I come over here, f, f, at 2, dot, com, just to get through it quickly here. Okay, and then so we have all kinds of questions here. Um, so we just go to number one. So it says, Jerry works for Inline Industries. Um, his, his role, he spends time deep beneath the Earth's surface. His base pay is 87 50 an hour, plus 275 for each day he spends below the Earth's surface. In the last 10-day period, he worked six of those days below the Earth's surface. His total pay for this 10-day period was $4,800. How many hours did Jerry work in this 10-day period? So again, you're just taking the skills that you just learned uh, and kind of working them through here. But the first thing we want to do is we want to go up here and say we want to ID the question. What's the question? So we want to know how many hours did he work. So I'm just going to put hours over here. And then we're going to state our path. Okay, so what do we know? So his base pay is $87.50. Um, he gets $275 for each day he spends below the Earth's surface. In the last 10-day period, we know that was six days. So that's going to be $275 multiplied by six. Gives us sixteen fifty, so he made sixteen fifty, and I'm just going to put U.S. under the surface. Okay, so this is how you do it. You, you just got to kind of read these problems and kind of pull out the information that we know. Um, okay. Um, oops, kind of lost some there in the pictures. Give me one second. Okay, so I just kind of rewrote everything I wrote on the left here so it shows up on the screen. And so, it, and then the last thing here is his total 10 day period was 4,800. So, total for T is 4,800. So, now you're just setting up an equation. So, you're going to come over here, and because the total, so 4,800 is equal to his 10 day period, his is under the ground pay, which was sixteen fifty, plus eighty seven fifty times. We don't know how many hours because remember we're looking for hours. So now what you have here is forty eight hundred. The total is equal to his under the ground pay plus his hourly wage times over how many hours he worked. But so you don't know how many hours. Okay, so that's why we call it X. Okay, so again, the total, 4,800, is equal to this part of his pay plus this part of his pay. The first part of his pay is the 275 times 6 days below the surface. Is that 1650 plus his hourly wage, 8750, times however many hours he works. So that's the equation. So everything you just learned in the skill section, now you're just applying in the word problem. And again, this is how the GED test works. So to work this out quick, it's going to do minus 1650, minus 1650. That gets rid of that there. And that leaves me 8750x. Um, Thirty-one fifty. Then the opposite again is eighty-seven fifty. Uh, X multiplied by eighty-seven fifty. So we're going to do the opposite, divided by eighty-seven fifty. So that crosses that out. I did it to that side. I'm going to do it to this side. And so that crosses out. And thirty-one fifty divided by eighty-seven point fifty is equal to thirty-six. So X equals <clears throat> 36. So again, let me just recap everything we did. So we read the problem, 
the first thing we did, we said, well, what's the question? Well, the question is how many hours did he work? So we're just trying to find out how many hours he worked. We were told some information that his hourly pay is 8750, but we still don't know how many hours he's trying that he worked. We were told that he makes $275 a day that he spends beneath the earth's surface. And we were told that he um, worked six days below the surface in this pay period. So we found out that was $1,650. And the total of his hourly plus his below the ground pay was equal to $4,800. So we took all that information and we set up an equation. $4,800 equals $1,650 underground pay plus hourly pay times the number of hours he worked and we still don't know that so then we just start solving this equation for x so that we can find out down here what the hours equal to so to solve it you do the opposite so this is a plus 1650 we do a minus 1650 because it's an equation if i take 1650 from this side i also take 1650 from this side that crosses that out because 1650 minus 1650 is zero that left me with 8750 over here 4,800 minus 1,650 left me with 3,150 over here. Then we're still doing the opposite. So this is X multiplied by 8,750. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide it by 8,750. If I do that to this side, I have to do it to this side. 8,750 divided by 8,750 leaves me 1X or just simply X. And then 3,150 minus 8,750. Uh, sorry, divided by 8750 equals 36. So X equals 36, 36 hours. Okay, now we come back over here. And we click on 36. Give me one second here. And we click on that, submit, and your answer is correct. So I hope this video helps to kind of get you started to kind of see how this is all operating. Brandy is that we're teaching you skills. And then from there, um, the idea is that you go and apply these things because that's how it works on the GD test. Please keep your questions coming and hope this video has been helpful.